What's up guys, we're back. Today's another Music Gear Monday. It's a beautiful Monday, it's a little cloudy, but uh, we're here. And today we're talking about prepping your USB stick, one of these guys, for use with a CDJ. And this is specifically for Serato DJ users, how to basically get your entire Serato library crates into Rekordbox and then also get those specific playlists or slash crates onto a CDJ so you can hop in and play on the CDJ just like if you were using Serato and feel comfortable and have all your crates and cues and all that good stuff. We're going to get into that today. Four easy steps to basically get you playing off of one of these guys. So let's hop into it. Step one is to basically select your brand of USB stick. There's a ton of USB sticks out there. This guy has been around for a very long time. It's a SanDisk USB stick. It's a standard. A lot of people use this. There are so many brands that will work with CDJs nowadays. I would look for anything from SanDisk or Samsung. Those are good companies. But like I said, there's a ton of companies out there that make USB sticks. Anything that has a high transfer rate, anything that says extreme or pro usually is going to be a best bet. And then also look for something with a pretty good amount of storage space. But remember, if you're using anything older, CDJ 2000s going backwards, they read a little bit slower. You're not going to have as you know high as processing speed to read a ton of files. So remember that when getting a stick, you don't need a ton of storage space. You can literally get through any gig with 8 to 16 gigs of storage space on your stick. A lot of times you only need a couple hundred songs on a stick to get through hours of music. So keep that in mind when picking a USB stick. Part of step one is formatting that USB stick and the CDJs format in FAT32. That format is going to allow you to use these USB sticks on CDJs for them to be read and compatible so make sure you're formatting these before you even start to load music on them so step number two is to hop into serato and format your crates make sure everything looks and feels the way you want it make sure you have the right songs make all your cue points and your loop sections make sure you have everything the way you want it if you're djing in serato and you've been djing in serato your crates probably are already the way you want them so just clean it up make sure it's ready for transfer all right, step three is syncing your library. So if you don't already have Rekordbox, make sure you download Rekordbox. It's free to download. Go onto Pioneer's website, download it. That's gonna allow you to sync to this stick because you can't sync directly from Serato to this stick. You're gonna need Rekordbox in order to do that. Once you download Rekordbox, hold off on adding music because I'm gonna show you how to basically get your Serato library onto Rekordbox box really quickly actually going to want to download lexicon and what lexicon does is take your existing library your existing serato dj library and it allows you to export it and then import it into record box the great thing about lexicon is that it's not just transferring your library you're also able to go in there and do smart fixes clean up urls clean up titles all that kind of stuff those smart fixes come in handy inside of lexicon there's a free version but i would recommend just getting the full version using it there's a bunch of other features like playlists and charts and stuff like that it's a great tool to have for a working dj so so you're going to want to export that library from lexicon into record box and that should mirror both libraries should look exactly the same after you do that so make sure you download lexicon after downloading record box and transfer that library 
All right, the fourth step is open record box and check to see if your library has transferred everything you want it to. Check your cue points. If you don't have cue points there, add cue points, add loops, add the sections you want to add inside of record box. Make sure you get that music exactly how you want to play it if you were to be playing it on Serato. I know using Serato is more on the fly and quicker at the draw for a lot of things. And this is the stuff you have to take into account when playing on CDJs is just preparing those sets, preparing those playlists to be played how you want them. It's a little bit more prep, but it goes a long way. And the more you do it, the easier it is to play off of the stick. So once they're how you want them, you're going to want to plug this stick. It's time to plug this stick into your computer and you're going to see it inside of record box. And what you're going to see is your library. And then down at the bottom, you're going to see the USB device. It's going to be named whatever you named the USB device. And from there, you want to go up to your playlists and you want to export those playlists to your USB device. So those are the four steps. Once you do those four steps, you can eject that stick and you can hop in plug this guy into any CDJ 3000, 2000, Nexus 2000, any RX3, any Opus Quad, any standalone Pioneer unit, and it should show all of your playlists, all of your cues, and you should be able to hop in, load those songs up without having to run into a ton of issues. If you don't format your music through record box, if you don't put those playlists together right, and you just have a bunch of MP3s on a thumb drive, it's not going to show you any metadata. It's not going to show you any waveforms. It's going to take a long time for the songs to load. Trust me, I've done this before. It will you know really stress you out when you're playing so prep and do this work beforehand is gonna allow you to have a way smoother set plus if you're carrying one of these around in your pocket and somebody ever asks you hey can you hop on you can play take this thing with you anywhere around the world just keep it in your pocket and you're able to play music that's the power of being able to use these guys that's the four steps. Plug in your stick and repeat. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Are you a CDJ user? Are you using Serato right now? Have you tried Lexicon? Let me know in the comments below and we'll keep the conversation rolling. That's going to be it for today's Music Here Monday. I'm Carl Carell. Peace. Shout out to our sponsors today, Crate Connect Digital Record Pool, providing tons of new music, new releases, hundreds of different genres and chart topping hits, everything and anything, instrumentals, acapellas, Latin, Moombatone, techno, dance hall, even country music. So if you're a DJ and you want to spruce up your music library, this is a great tool to utilize. The price is just right with different options from 30 days 90 days and 180 days with high resolution audio this is a great option for anybody wanting to expand their DJ library. They even have a clothing shop. This one's my favorite. Make sure to hop on over. Check out Crate Connect. I will be putting a link in the description below, which will include a discounted price. So make sure to hop on that while it lasts. 